Hello, it's Rachel Lawson here again from the Drupal Association with yet another of our candidate chat series uh, with candidates for the Drupal Association board elections for 2020. And today I'm introducing Alejandro Moreno Lopez. Uh, good morning, Alex. How are you doing? Good morning, Rachel. I'm doing really, really well. Yes, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Yeah, can't complain. Apart from my iPad being really strange today, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so we've both been doing lots of various things in Drupal for a while now. And I, you tell me there's an interesting story about how we met, and I'm now quite scared to ask. <laughs> oh, it's, it's something that you love to do. And it's something that I don't know why I was thinking the other day and it came to my memory. The first time we talked to each other, it was around five years ago. Right, and it, it was because I was a point in my life where I was spending spending like four hours per day commuting, uh, going to London West at BBC, and I was thinking there must be a better way to do this. And I, somehow I found your your profile in Twitter, and you were doing all these amazing trips on your motorbike, and I used to love motorbikes. That's that when I moved to to UK, I had to sell my motorbike motorbike back in Spain, and I never thought about getting one. But at that point, it's like. You know, I could save a couple of hours and get a motorbike. And you, I, you were re riding this amazing XR Idris. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was looking at that one, and that's why I started communication with you. Like, uh, how is this bike? Is it, is it good for commuting? And I remember your answer, like, well, this is, it's very hot, you know. But uh, yeah, it is. It will be a hell of a ride. Remember, you told me. <laughs> <laughs> it would certainly be a hell of a ride. I'll give you that. <laughs> into, into London, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I, it's not that I regret it. I still love motorbikes, oh. but going to central London is, is horrible. It's like, it's, yeah, riding next to huge trucks and it's a scary, a terrifying experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to do that every day. <laughs> okay, so it's interesting you say you've been around five years and, um, you know, you, you've met lots of people and it's all about community. So what can you tell me about not just the Drupal community it is, but how we how we grow community. What what is it that we do to build new community? Yeah, everyone is talking about uh, how amazing is the community and how amazing is meeting people and all of that. And I totally get that and I totally agree, right? And it's what makes working in tech you know, in technology worth. Uh, going to Drupal camps, Drupal cons, to any other events related to technology and meeting the people behind the technology and meeting possible partners, customers, friends. But community is much more about, much more than that, right? With, if you think about it, without community, there wouldn't be even technology. Uh, things like Drupal, of course, but uh, things like Java or PHP or Gatsby, DDEV, they are that amazing technology that so many people are using because there is a huge amount of people behind the scenes sharing what they are doing just for the sake of sharing, right? And for the sake as well yeah. of learning and, and getting feedback. So to me, community is, is of course, all these things about meeting everyone and, and keeping contact and making synergies. But it's also what is it's the glue that keeps our world together, right? Our, our technologies and what makes a company, what makes a, a what makes our technology uh, successful. Oh, wonderful, yeah. So you talked there a lot about bringing success. You talked about all the various different um, things that are in a community. So we've got both companies and individuals and the glue, which is an interesting way of putting it. Uh, but we need to be able to reach out. We need to be able to continue to reach out beyond the edges of our community um, and advocate for Drupal and talk about what, you know, talk about Drupal in different places. What can you tell me about advocating for Drupal and things that you would like us to be doing? Yeah. So I think when Drupal 8 took the direction that took and a lot of people criticize and a lot, like always there is going to be people happy and people unhappy but that's that's life right 
and you have to try to find the middle point. And but the amazing thing that Drupal eight started is, is it started as synergy. Everyone was talking about even the island, and that started as synergy with Symphony. Uh, suddenly we were working closely with other community, which is uh, the PHP or the we were we've always been working with the PHP community, of course, but we were doing it in our, in our own way, right? Suddenly we are more open and we are more adopting good practices from others and sharing as well our good practices and sharing our work at the end. Open source is not just about uh, building your own framework or your own thing, but as well helping each other, not just in your small island, but as well helping on the Symfony community, for example. So I would love to see that more happening and not just on the on the Drupal or in the development world, right? Because at the end, if you see, I'm focusing a lot on the on the technology side because I'm, I've been software developer for two decades. That's a long time. Um, but what I've been more inclined recently or more is, is about the human part of everything, right? And I think it was Adam or, Hen or uh, Mike, one of the candidates that were talking exactly about going out and reach other communities as well, uh, going to WordPress communities, try to make more synergies, um, going to even places where technology is not that that core of what they are doing, like marketing communities, right? They, uh, SEO and PPC communities, where they talk a lot about um, their own world or their own solutions, but where we can find a lot of synergies on, look, there is uh, this amazing tool and this is what you are trying to solve. You could put these two together. And if you go to these places, you discover that a lot of people, will, because we normally go to Drupal cons, Drupal camps, we preach between us, right? We think that Drupal yeah. is the, the, the core of the universe, but we go outside and it's like, well, what is that thing about Drupal? Um, I, I have this one minute pitch or 30 seconds pitch uh, elevator to try to explain what I do and what is Drupal, right? So that's what we we should be doing. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how many people in our community could describe Drupal and why it's important in one minute. Oh, I yeah. haven't managed to to find the right, but I'm still practicing. Yeah, especially with family. <laughs> it would be interesting to see. It'd be almost like a, an interesting yes, is a whole load of people for one minute having to explain why well, have you? that would be interesting <laughs> so you have as you say you mentioned uh, there's some camps and so on like that have you got any particular favorite memories from uh visiting maybe drupal camps or anything else that came up yeah it's i was thinking that it's really difficult because uh every time you go to any event, in, be it DrupalCon London, be it uh, Manchester, be it DrupalCons, there's always something special, right? Because it's a different city. It's uh, not always different people. That's also amazing because it's like living off the island. Sometimes it's good that it's a small island because just in a few events, you end up meeting everyone, right? And I think we're yeah. meeting you on every single event I've been going, that I, I don't go to a lot of them, but I always meet you. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing you, you end up uh, yeah making friends and making new friends and so it's difficult to to choose one probably the the last Drupalcon in in amsterdam uh, that was very special for me because uh, amsterdam is a city that i love but also because uh, the whole organization the whole the whole thing that happened a lot of colleagues from work and customers as well we managed to get some developers on a train on a plane and come there so it was it was really special um, the best Drupal event that I've been in the last, probably ever, was this one that you see here. It's the Drupal Camp Spain. Oh, oh wonderful, and yes. It, it was that, amazing. That, there's, that's a splash award, isn't it? It's a splash award because I did, we did a surf during the whole week. And yeah. I got the rookie of the event, something like that, right? And, and they gave me that. But it was amazing because they combined not yet, not just the technology side, but also going outside, uh, go walking, go horse riding, do surf, um, go out with people, and you know, enjoy the tapas and all of that. And the weather is yeah. amazing. 
Yeah, so. I see you've got the skateboard behind you. <laughs> I have a skateboard in front of my house. Not yet. I have it for for decoration or anything like that. I still use it. <laughs> <laughs> people look weird at me, like this guy 40 something next to the guys with a scooter, kids with uh, yeah, 12 years old, kids. Hey, I've got a sc <laughs> scooter now, I've got a scooter. <laughs> I've got a little nine box scooter, it's good fun. <laughs> okay, so you're looking to be on our group association board, it's a, a team of I can't remember the now. Is it 12 or 13 people now? I can't even remember. Um, who all have different skills and bring different parties. Anything that you, that you particularly think that you bring as a skill to that team? Um, I think I'm discovering that after being so many years on the uh, technical side of things, I'm starting to enjoy um, something doing something different than that, right? You, you get the creative, yeah. you get the um, the joy of creating something, but suddenly you discover the joy of enabling people, right? And you discover that sometimes you push yeah. a little bit here and it's not going to be the thing that you created, which was like something I was really proud in the past, like I was seeing this amazing architecture work and I was like, ah, that was me. Now I see things different. I see like doing this little push um it starts things and when you see these things evolving you get some proud in there right and you get like oh wow look we we get we got together and we managed to do this as a team not just as me doing that but uh, yeah for example with the with a swag shop i think it i started with a, a silly tweet about you know the community is uh, the Drupal community needs your help everyone is raising money that's amazing but I'm sure there must be other ways to to find how we can help, right? And uh, Will Huggins, I think it was, yeah, he, he worked a lot on this. And we end up doing something that some people will like it, some people won't like it, but at the end it's, it's about that. It's about trying to enable things, trying to push, trying to um, yeah move forward. And the same as well for the Drupal uh, England and Wales Association that you are part as well that we are trying to, to do something is about, uh, yeah, about trying to find where we can help, where we can uh, enable other people as well to to be part of something, right? right? To, yeah, to improve things. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I remember because when, when yourself and Will and Ruth uh, came to me and said, why is there no swag shop? And I'm like, I gave a load of reasons and then said, hey, well, if you can come up with a better way, then fantastic. And all, all, all credit to all three of you, you literally went away and came up with a, a whole basis for how a swag shop can work and Drupal.org slash swag now will, um, it's in the menu, isn't it? It's in the give menu, uh, yeah. Drupal swag is in there and the oh, swag shop nice. and <laughs> It's um, it's really easy. It, it, it literally makes money for the Drupal Association ju just by buying hats and T-shirts and, and everything like that. But you made it happen, so thank you for that because it's a really interesting, interesting new model. That uh, and it has to be said, it's, it was the first step, right? We were trying to find a solution to something, and, which is there is a hole in the Drupal Association, and we need to mm. find somehow. Some people propose, okay, we, we could do the shop. Um, there are better ways, or but this is just the first step. We we are discovering that it works, and we are discovering that the community is behind it. Once we have numbers, we can probably do a second st uh, second step. Maybe yeah. do something more, maybe in Drupal, maybe in e-commerce. But it has to make sense as well, because I remember the yeah. conversations with you. It was about the previous attempts. You were losing money, even you were selling, fulfillment the. Yeah. Deliveries and all of that. It was making the association to lose money because you had to have people <laughs> working on that that you had to pay. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what you built is what you built created zero risk for everyone, zero time as well. So, yeah, that's really great. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Um, have you anything that you want to add on? Anything particularly you want to say about your candidacy um, that people should hear? 
Um, I think we have a lot of problems, um, not necessarily in Drupal, but on the open source, right? And we have this uh, round table yeah, yeah. that we did on, on Drupal Can London, and we have another, the same table with different people in, in Drupal Con in, in Barcelona, remotely in Barcelona. <laughs> um, so I need, I think we, we need to open <sighs> the conversation and be honest about, we are in, in an amazing time, open source is super recognized and open source is, is beating all the alternatives, but this is creating lots of problems as well. It's creating a stress. It's, it's, it's like a road that is starting to get a lot of cars, but that, that road needs to be maintained. And the infrastructure in, on top of which we are uh, riding or we are driving our cars is maintained by most of the time volunteers. So we need to find better ways to, to fix problems that this is creating, like burnout on people, right? Um, things like security, because yeah, no one is, uh, if there is an unmaintained package, suddenly you have a huge security hole and that's going to be a lot of problems for a lot of companies that didn't even realize that they were using that package yeah. that's all, right? So we need to, we need to keep pushing on, on things like that, on, on keeping, keeping us honest and trying to find more models. People may not be happy about some decisions in terms of now how you vote or, but it's as well on, okay, this maybe not everyone is happy. How do we find an alternative? How do we find solutions, right? We have to, we have to keep, uh, yeah, the communication, the, we have to keep the, the conversation about that. Mm -hmm. And diversity as well. Um, everyone is talking about diversity and everyone, at least myself, I thought it was about giving everyone more opportunities for everyone. And since our round table in Drupal Can London, that opened my eyes because it's not just about giving more people opportunities. It's as well, of course, it's about that, but it's as well what these other diverse profiles bring to the community. Suddenly you are not talking about just developers, you're also talking about uh, design or about people in marketing or people from different countries, right? Suddenly the, the ideas, all the, the things that they bring on the table, they wouldn't be possible without them, right? So I, yeah. I think we need to keep uh, pushing on, on those directions and try to, we have an amazing, um, amazing communities, open source is great, but we have to keep things like that we have to keep pushing to make sure that we stay on, on track brilliant okay well thank you alex that was brilliant uh we're very lucky this year we've got 10 fantastic candidates and i'm going to be happy whoever wins so all the very best of luck and we will find out soon thank you very much it was great to talk to you and good luck to everyone <laughs>